गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नाइन्थ क्लास बायोलॉजी इन दिस थर्ड लेसन एनिमल टिश्यू बिफोर गोइंग टू एंटर इनटू दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू रिकॉल द प्रीवियस लेसन व्हाट इज प्रीवियस लेसन प्लांट टिश्यूज हियर यू हैव टू नो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वर्ड टिश्यू व्हाट इज टिश्यू group of cells group of cells which are structurally and functionally similar group of cells which are structurally and functionally similar that uh, group of cell is called a tissue yes sir next uh, plant tissues second lesson is our previous lesson is a uh, plant tissue in a uh, plants are uh, four types of tissues are there in the top of one meristematic tissue second one dermal tissue third one ground tissue Fourth one, vascular tissue. Vascular tissue. What is the main function of a meristematic cell? It is the purpose. It is participate in the growth of the entire plant. Next is dermal tissue. It is the outer covering of the plant. Next is ground tissue. It is participate in the growing of the weight of the plant. next uh, vascular tissue it is the it is provide food and conduct the water and mineral from the side this is about previous lesson animal tissues today we are going to discuss about animal tissues here like uh, plant tissues animal tissues also there are four types of uh, animal tissues are there in that first one epithelial tissue epithelial tissue second one second one connective tissue third one muscle tissue fourth one nervous tissue nervous tissue first of all what are the four types of animal tissues are there four types what are the epithelial tissue connective tissue muscle tissue and nervous tissue first of all we have to discuss about the first one epithelial tissue what is epithelial tissue the tissue which cover entire surface of the body and uh, organs of organs of the body that is called uh, epithelial tissue what is epithelial tissue the tissue which cover entire surface and uh, surface of the organs that uh, epithelial the tissue is called uh, epithelial tissue this epithelial tissue again it is uh, divided into three types based on the function and position in a organism in that uh, first one squamous tissue squamous epithelium second one cuboidal epithelium third one colona epithelium colona epithelium first of all squamous epithelium squamous epithelium here before going to discuss about this three types of epithelium here in the word epithelial epithelium two words are there in that term 
which is which is extremely thin flat and uh, form a delicate linings that uh, tissue is called squamous epithelium where we find out this uh, squamous epithelium mainly we find out uh, in uh, arm oesophagus oesophagus and uh, linings of uh, linings of mouth inside the mouth linings of mouth mouth and uh, blood vessels blood vessels and uh, alveolus alveolus of uh, lungs here also called as this is also called as food pipe food pipe next uh, mouth inside uh, lining of the mouth next uh, blood vessels already you know next uh, alveoli what is alveoli when we see the structure of uh, lungs lungs uh, here this is a uh, wind pipe this wind pipe this wind pipe again uh, divided into two branches these two branches are entered into lungs like this these two branches again are divided into smaller and smaller branches like this